What do dogs think? How do they perceive their environment? What kinds of problems can they solve? In the Clever Dog Lab at the University of Veterinary Medicine, Vienna, scientists investigate the cognitive abilities of man's best friend. Es ist ganz wichtig, dass ich ein richtiges Verständnis des Tieres habe. It's very important to really understand the animals, and this requires knowledge in various fields. One focus of the institute is biological knowledge, animal behavior and our field of research, canine cognition. Das Clever Dog Lab ist ein wissenschaftliches Forschungsinstitut. The Clever Dog Lab is a canine research institute. We investigate how dogs see and understand our world, how they interact with humans, how they get along with us. We invite dog owners and their pets to take part in this research. The dogs participating in the experiments are normal pets of all breeds and sizes. Each is confronted with various tasks, but the experiments and results may be different depending on the dog. Die Hunde, die zu uns kommen, haben natürlich unterschiedliche Motivationen. The dogs come to our lab with different motivations. They have different personalities. We carried out a study on the influence of personality on problem solving in dogs, and there will be further results in the near future. Wenn man nun aber drauf kommt, dass auch Tiere gewisse geistige Fähigkeiten If we discover that animals have certain cognitive abilities similar to our own, for example, that they pursue their own interests or make decisions accompanied by emotions, I think that this will strongly change our understanding of these animals. The experiments are designed to fit the research question. The following are six examples. This experiment investigates the fearfulness of different sized dogs. The dogs are confronted with items that are unknown to them and which remain hidden behind a curtain. When a new item is revealed, the dog's reaction is observed. This dog is not very impressed and examines the item with no signs of fear. In this experiment on the understanding of human pointing gestures, two different baskets are placed in a room. One of them contains a piece of sausage as a reward for the dog. A hand gesture shows the dog which basket contains the sausage. The baskets are then swapped while the dog's eyes remain covered to ensure that it can't see what is happening. The question is, does the dog remember the shape of the basket or does it choose based on the pointing gesture? This dog chooses the shape of the basket. In this experiment, which investigates the dog's physical cognition, a person places a piece of sausage on one of two boards. The dog watches the placement and is faced with two choices, left or right. The dog pulls one board nearer and gets the treat if the choice was right. The correct side is varied randomly. On the incorrect side, there is either no treat or the treat lies next to the board. In this detour problem, the dog sees a treat that it cannot reach directly. It has to find another route to get the reward, in this case around a fence. For this task, it is important that the dog has not done the experiment before. In this learning task, the dog has to operate a touch screen with its snout. Two different pictures are shown, for example, a circle and a square, and the dog must choose one of them. In this case, the circle is correct, and the dog automatically gets a reward. If the choice is wrong, the screen turns red and the dog gets nothing. After a short break, the dog has another chance to solve the task. This elegant method is suitable for testing many learning tasks, including difficult ones, such as distinguishing quantities or categories.
In this test, the dog is shown different faces that are projected on a screen in front of the animal. The dog's head must rest on a pillow with as little movement as possible. By using an eye tracker, it can be determined where exactly the dog is looking when viewing the faces. Two cameras film the dog's pupils and special software analyzes the movements of the eyes. The eye tracker was first used in human research and has long been applied in advertising to identify where people look, for example when they go shopping. This makes the Clever Dog Lab one of the first labs worldwide to use this advanced technology in canine research. It is a particular challenge to find dogs that are able to keep their heads very still during tracking. A next step will be to investigate if dogs can recognize emotions, for example when they see someone yawn. The tracking tool provides valuable insights into the perception of dogs and generates important data for our understanding of animal cognition. The problem with basic research is that we cannot immediately put all the results into action. We identify principles and can continue to work with them, including principles for comparison with other species. This is comparative research. But of course, the dog owners who come to our lab will find out something new about their dogs too. They can discover a new mode of behavior or just watch their dogs learning, participating and having fun.